Hi mama, are you puking in pregnancy and wanting some pregnancy sickness relief? If you said yes, you've come to the right place. My name's Anya and I'm a holistic pregnancy coach specialising in hypnobirthing. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I don't want you to miss any of my upcoming videos and relaxation audios. So pregnancy sickness or morning sickness as it's otherwise called is absolutely nasty. I remember in my first trimester having it all day so I don't even know why it's called morning sickness it's like all day sickness basically isn't it I lost count of the amount of times I had my head over the toilet when I was pregnant but thankfully there are things that you can do to reduce vomiting in pregnancy and to deal with morning sickness effectively so let's dive into my top tips for dealing with morning sickness in pregnancy my first tip is to eat something before you get out of bed getting out of bed on an empty stomach can make morning sickness worse so it's a good idea to eat something like a few whole grain crackers that are a slow energy release carbohydrate because they keep your sugar levels on an even keel and they help to reduce your risk of vomiting in the morning. My second top tip is to eat protein rich foods. So often pregnant women find that eating high protein foods like nuts, cold meats and eggs can stave off pregnancy sickness. Oops, I almost forgot something. So it's important that you eat little and often throughout the day during pregnancy rather than eating three big meals. When you're pregnant, your digestive system slows down because your body's trying to wring out as much nutrition as it possibly can from the food that you consume just to nourish your baby and to help grow your baby. So if you eat large meals, your digestive system will just back up and it's easier to feel sick and to also be sick. So having small meals dotted throughout the day and regular snacks in between those small meals is best. My next top tip is to get plenty of the vitamin B6. If you're low on B6, it can increase pregnancy sickness. So you can either take a supplement with vitamin B6 in or stock up on chicken, pork, fish and potatoes. My next top tip is to stay hydrated. Dehydration can increase and exacerbate morning sickness. In pregnancy, your blood volume increases by 50%, so you need more water flowing around your body to help pump that blood around as well. If you're finding it hard to keep fluids down, try drinking in between meals rather than during meals. When you're eating and drinking at the same time, all of that food is swimming around in the liquid in your stomach and it can increase morning sickness or increase the risk of vomiting. So just make sure that you're sipping little and often in between meals as much as you possibly can. My next top tip is to get plenty of rest. So tiredness can make pregnancy sickness worse. So please sleep and nap whenever you can. My seventh tip is to diffuse lemon oil or lime oil into the room that you're in. So you can use an electric diffuser for this or an oil burner with a small little tea light candle underneath. All you have to do is put like four to six drops of lemon oil or the lime oil, mix in with a bit of water and then just let it disperse through the room and breathe the scent in. You can also chop up a lime or a lemon and squeeze some of that juice into some water and you can sip those drinks throughout the day. My eighth tip is to wear an acupressure band or a C-band, I think they're called as well. So acupressure bands are typically used when you're travelling on a boat and you get a bit seasick or you suffer from motion sickness when you're travelling in a car, a train, a bus or whatever it is. When you wear them in pregnancy, just on your wrist here, on both wrists actually, you can buy two. The acupressure point is right here and so that band presses on that point on your wrist and it can help with pregnancy nausea and also morning sickness. My next tip is to use some homeopathic remedies. So if you contact a reputable homeopath in your local area, they can advise you as to which homeopathic remedy is best for you to take according to the symptoms that you're suffering from when it comes to morning sickness. So sometimes people can have morning sickness and they feel like quite dizzy or they're waking up in the night feeling sick, they're suffering from insomnia and things like that at the same time. So there's different homeopathic remedies to ease the different symptoms that you're suffering from. Great homeopathic remedies are Nux Vomica, there's also one called Coculus and one called Sepia. 
but it's just best that you contact a homeopath and they can help you decide which is the best remedy for you to take for your symptoms of pregnancy nausea or morning sickness. My next tip is to chew on peppermint gum or to sip ginger tea or even nibble on some stem ginger that you just chop up, just buy a ginger root from the local shop, chop a little bit off and just nibble on the ginger. That can really help with morning sickness as well. And I've just realised that the dress I'm wearing is totally misaligned. My daughter has been messing around with it so she pulled the sleeve up. Didn't even realise. Sorry if I looked a bit ridiculous with my sleeves. So my final tip to deal with pregnancy sickness is to do slow, deep breathing whenever you experience any sickness symptoms. When I was pregnant in the first trimester and was feeling sick and being sick a lot, I would often do quite a lot of shallow breathing because I'd get quite panicky and stressed about feeling sick and being sick. But that's the worst thing that you can do because you release adrenaline into your body and adrenaline also exacerbates feelings of sickness. The best thing that you can do is to do deep breaths in through your nose, then out through your mouth, and that can reduce feelings of pregnancy nausea and prevent pregnancy sickness as well. So the more that you do slow deep breathing, the more it's going to help you to deal with morning sickness symptoms. If you're finding that your morning sickness just isn't stopping and that you're struggling to keep any food or drink down at all, you might be suffering from something called hyperemesis gravidarum, which is an extreme form of pregnancy sickness. In that case, I advise you to go straight to the hospital or your local doctor's surgery to get treatment for this. Hyperemesis gravidarum is a very serious condition, so if you think that's what you might have, please seek immediate medical assistance. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you found the information useful and you've got some things that you can put into practice to help to deal with pregnancy nausea or any morning sickness that you're suffering from at the moment. If you've got any questions or comments, please do let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because the more subscribers that I get actually helps me to reach and support more pregnant women worldwide. So thank you so much in advance. See you again in my next video, Mama. Take care until then. Bye.